My name is Joe Max Joachim, and welcome to the third and final episode of Generational Health. Through this series, we aim to understand how we can learn from the living generations to improve healthcare outcomes for multiple generations today and be good ancestors for future generations. Well, I think the best source of information nowadays is the internet uh, or, so, or social media, really, sometimes. I kind of avoid going to the doctor, which is not a good thing, I don't suppose. I don't use any sort of digital trackers at all. No, I got this. I avoid them like the plague. We are human beings, and I believe that human beings need other human beings. On Apple Watch, there is an exercise frame and it gives you great work. Shenlan, you closed your rank today. And then I'm like, yeah. I think my generation is still a bit skeptical about sharing information. In this episode, we explore the world of digital health and data. With the growth of online consultation and wearable devices, we focus on the perspectives of different generations when it comes to technology impact and access to healthcare. Well, older generations and my generations, I think we might be on an agreement here that uh, that data protection and privacy is a big concern nowadays. I wouldn't like it. No, I wouldn't like my daughter put around the place. Yet. I don't know. That's personal stuff, isn't it? Uh, it depends. What um, do they want to do with the data? As long as they don't abuse it and they're using it to make better decisions for other people. The data getting shared with the insurance company, if it's like going back to what I was saying, if the data is in the right hands and it doesn't kind of get twisted and bent out of shape. So I think the young generation, of course, they, I think they share more than my generation. It would make things just a lot easier for GPs, hospitals, it would cut out time. Across generations, there's a noticeable skepticism and lack of trust when it comes to sharing personal health data particularly with insurance companies and to some extent with digital platforms in general. Individuals are comfortable sharing information with their general practitioner, but there's also a reluctance to use wearable devices. Now, I hate those bloody phones. I can't escape if I look up and see how many steps have you taken today and it's something like 200 or 150, you know, it, it, it puts the pressure onto you, but you, so you do it. I use apps for, uh, to control my period. I think it's brilliant, this kind of app. And I use before one for, uh, because I have a higher broad pressure, so I use to check and then to upload the information on the one app. If it was something that a doctor or a nurse gave you, and I've, I've had these before as well, where you have to wear a certain device for a week or so and then they collect the data, 100% behind them. I'm just trying to, you know, not look too much at the screen. I try not to be as digitally involved, so to say. And I found the digital aspect of healthcare to be extremely beneficial for me because I could book an appointment to a doctor through the app, I could get the prescription to the app, I could, I could use my uh, insurance to make a claim. I think the apps are good. I, I, I think for people who, 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 who need help, I don't see any harm in using it as long as, as a set. You know, get help maybe as well. All generations agree that while the digital health services offer significant benefits, they cannot fully replace the personal interactions and diagnostics expertise provided by traditional healthcare professionals. The challenge moving forward is to integrate digital health services with traditional healthcare in a way that enhances overall care, without compromising the personal touch that many patients still value. Mistrust in the use of personal data presents an opportunity to refine how we approach data sharing, ensure that future generations can benefit from the advancements in digital health while maintaining confidence in how data is used. We must look at how we can navigate this challenge and act as good ancestors for fostering a culture of transparency, education, and trust. A challenge also lies in thoughtfully integrating digital health into traditional care models, ensuring that future generations receive the best of both worlds. So how can we approach this integration in a way that respects the human element of healthcare while harnessing the transformative potential of digital solutions?